Brothers was, uh, well, it was built after the tornado in Parksburg, and then it was open a year on the year anniversary, which was uh, May 28, 2009. <laughs> I do know that. So it was the one year anniversary of the tornado. You know, the tornado was hard. You know, like we lost a lot of stuff, and my husband was ready to get out of the grocery business. I think he just, I just don't think he felt like going through and, and doing that all again. I don't, I don't. Uh, three brothers are in, are, um, invested in the store. They're all from Apple, they graduated from Appleton Parksburg. And uh, Darren DeVries, and he's actually an assistant basketball coach at Creighton University. And then Jarrett DeVries, and he is, he, he was an NFL player, and he was playing for the uh, Detroit Lions at the time. And then Jay DeVries, and he's a financial advisor down in the Des Moines area. They knew the town needed a grocery store, which it does, and then they purchased it from my husband and I. Um, they actually had the Cascade community um, approach them to build a store in their community. They had been without a grocery store for like four years. It's a lot of money, it's a lot of work, so the town puts together um, you know, a package that will help them so that they're able to come into those small communities. Usually it's a, like a tax abatement uh, program. And so then they built in Cascade, and they opened there in January of 2010. So anyway, then Lisbon approached them, and then we were opened the grocery store there. Actually, it was on New Year's Eve of 2012. The Lisbon store and the Denver store, um, Casey Wigman, who's also an NFL player, he's actually um, involved in both of those stores also. They all graduated together okay. um, from the, you know, Applington Parksburg had combined schools, and so they graduated together. I mean, and we did, we had, uh, for the Lisbon store, we had the autograph signing of Jared and then uh, Brad Meester, and he still plays in the NFL, because these are all um, AP guys, you know, they all graduate from AP, and Brad Meester still plays in the NFL at, at, at Jacksonville, he's, at Jackson, he's a Jacksonville Jaguar, and then uh, Aaron Campman. He was actually there also, and he um, he was in the NFL and he played for the Packers for many years, and then he had then he had actually got went down to Jacksonville also. So yeah, so they were all at the Lisbon store. They like to help the small communities, but they can't go in there and you know lose tons of money either. I mean, it, it takes a long time, obviously, for a grocery store to be profitable, and so they have to. We have to have the support of the community uh, that we're going into. Just nobody wants to lose their small town grocery store, so that a lot of small towns that are losing their grocery stores. And like we, like I said, we get calls, a lot of calls from grocery, you know, for grocery stores in small towns. Denver approached them. Denver came down and checked out the Lisbon store, and um, and they approached them and wanted them to come to their community because they were losing their grocery store and that was we opened in on uh, Friday the 13th on, uh, in June of this year, 2014. Yeah. We had Governor Branstad, was, could, he made a, a short stop and they took some pictures and uh, it was nice, yeah. And it was the day. Having a grocery store here, I think grocery stores in every community like your schools and churches are, are a draw to bring people to your town. But to get them here, one of our Councilman administrator met with Jared, I believe, in Des Moines, and they had several meetings to come up with an agreement to get them here. And we, well, I think it's one of the, the staples of the community. You know, it's, uh, with our development here in town, it's going to help us hopefully bring more housing in this area of town. We're looking down the road for future growth. The community is really behind it. Very positive comments have come from the public. Um, hopefully some of our neighboring communities will start using us again. It is very difficult not having a store because I'm on call for ambulance a lot and I wasn't able to run to Waterloo or Waverly to pick up groceries. And if you're in the middle of cooking something and you didn't have a certain item, then you had to start over and make something else. So to me, having a store in town is very important. Convenience of the bank, Denver Bank moved out here for their second outlet. That was Denver Bank helped brothers get this 
established. Uh, the bank, they were a big push with bringing Brothers Market to the community. And, uh, I, and then I think U.S. Cellular, I think they just needed a uh, different spot and this has worked out wonderful for them and for us. So. We sell services out here now, so there's two more businesses that are easier to get to or a second option. Newey's uh, Wireless, and it's been awesome having them there. They're, just, they're super people. They bring lots and lots of people in because, you know, everybody has a cell phone. And anything that, yeah, that helps with their business helps with our business. But, yeah, it's been really good for both of us. So. Yeah, I think they definitely work hand in hand. I mean, our, our uh, traffic has definitely increased. Um, and I think we see it in the store, too, where somebody says, hey, you know, they're picking up their cell phone, and while they're here, hey, they might as well get some groceries, too. So I think it works uh, both ways. So. Uh, it's just like any small-town grocery, you know. We've got so much competition from the bigger, you know, the bigger towns, the trying to get the people in the community to shop in the community, you know. And, then, and we try to be as competitive as we can, you know. Uh, very, very fresh meat counter. Um, everything is cut fresh. We, we, you know, we don't use tube hamburger. We grind everything. Um, we buy their meat here a lot for supper and, and grilling on the weekends. And um, also their fruit and produce section is also very good and very fresh. So that's been a nice asset also. It's the little things that I think, you know, that would make people want to come in so but we do get back to the community and you know like to the and which you know that's that's the one nice thing about being in a small town you know back to the schools and, and to the churches and you know for the like the softball and the little league and and all of that stuff so they grew up in a small community so i think that makes them you know they that's why they take an interest i think in these small communities and why they give back to the to the smaller community was that they know how important that was when they were growing up, you know, because, well, they've opened quite a few new stores. So the, the stores, when they open, um, I help get them ready, um, get help get equipment ordered, help get the vendors in place, get the employees, um, do the interviews, hire the employees, and then um, set the store, and then train the employees. Um, it just needs to be like a team and that's how Our frozen food section. Down this aisle. We have a nice large selection in our dairy area. This is Dylan. He was our meat manager to start the store and then uh, he's training Bruce back in the meat department. Or Bruce is pretty well trained now and now he's assistant manager on the floor right now. That's our meat manager, Bruce, back there working hard. I don't know if we can get him to smile or not. <laughs> Deli department. She will smile. <laughs> and Carrie, she will smile. And Brad, he's our store manager. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, we actually used the, the old grocery store a lot for lunches because they had a deli. And so uh, we needed something quick and easy, and so it was really convenient. And when they closed, we didn't have that option anymore. So it's nice to have the lunch option here for the deli. Hey, you have a good day. Enjoy your chicken. So then, they actually, this is the almost store they put in that have the produce doors instead of the open produce cases. Um, they did some research and and they seem to help keep the product stay longer. So, <laughs> well, it's good to meet you. You take care. Uh, this is the Bay. This is the branch. We have wonderful people working here. Brenda Eldred. <laughs> and this is the branch manager over here. And his name is? Hello, Brian Clausen. Huh? Yeah, you don't hear it too much in small towns. I know some of the bigger cities do that. Um, and it's a, it's a great way to provide better customer service hours. 
So a lot of people who commute can't make it here in time for our normal branch hours. So with the uh, extended hours to 7 o'clock, we get a lot more customers that way. So it's a, it's a good way to serve the community that way. Our store managers, uh, they have a they have a lot to do, and you know, and uh, especially in a small in a small town, in a small grocery store, it seems like because they have to wear, you know, many hats. They have to be able to cover many departments. They have to work, um, you know, the the nights, the weekends, um, and just because they have to work right alongside the employees, you know, because it is a smaller grocery store. So the customer is number one here. We definitely need to go out of our way. They're, everybody does do what they can to, to help out. I feel we work well as a team. And, yeah. Our customer service is very good. You know, with our carry-out service, and we do like the deliveries if anyone calls in and wants that. So that's what we're here for. We're here for solely for the customer. That's another big thing, like back in the meat department, I mean, people know that they can come up and we can cut them, you know, whatever they want, special. The, they're all about local around here, and that's one of our biggest things, and we try to bring in, like, local stuff from Steggy's Meat Market, and that we have, you know, going back to the local thing, we try to, to give them business, too. I think with any new store, you know, it's kind of weeding out what sells and what doesn't, and getting to know your customer base, and you know, finding out what people want, what they like, and trying to get that in here, and trying to just make everyone happy. Mm -hmm.